I've made it very clear. Now, this program does not target innocent Americans in any way, shape, or form. These programs have helped keep America safe. Uh, they've enhanced our ability uh, to go after terrorists who want to bring harm uh, to the American people. Greetings, John Boehner, Speaker of the House of Representatives and Congressman from Ohio's 8th District. We are anonymous, and we have been watching you very carefully since you took over the speakership. As one of the proud architects of the current congressional gridlock, you have still found the time to magnanimously allow legislature through, that allows our current surveillance state to thrive, such as passage of the various extensions and expansions of the USA Patriot Act, and the Protect America Act of 2007, which enabled the prison program to be created. You recently have gone on record as calling Edward Snowden a traitor to the American people. But what of your crimes, Congressman? What of your refusal to work with your opposition or to rein in the NSA's out-of-control unconstitutional activities, in direct violation of the FISA Court's 2011 opinion in which they found that the NSA was violating both the Fourth Amendment and the 2008 FISA Amendments? Your vote against the historic Amash Amendment is further testament to your agreement that the NSA's spying on the American people and mass data mining of domestic information are both correct and necessary. As a member of the vaunted Gang of Eight, you were certainly aware of the 2011 FISA court decision, yet you took no action to stop these abuses, by federal law. All members of the Gang of Eight are required to be briefed on all intelligence operations, initiatives, and policies for the purposes of legislative oversight, so there is no way you wouldn't have known all about the abuses of PRISM and X-Key score. And why? It seems you feel that our rights are less important than the illusion of security of which you profit from. To find your true motivations, you need only follow the money. And in doing so we found that like your compatriots we have profiled in the Gang of Eight, you have taken significant contributions from technology affiliates of the NSA as well as defense contractors such as Microsoft, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, L3 Communications, Raytheon, Verizon Communications, and AT&T. In total, since the election cycle following the creation of PRISM, your campaign committee and leadership pack have received a grand total of $639,850 in just the last six years alone. In our estimation, your deliberate flouting of the Fourth Amendment is tantamount to treason against the Constitution, which you have sworn an oath to uphold and protect. Why have you abandoned us, Mr. Speaker? Why have you abandoned your oath to protect us and our civil liberties? Is it merely the money, or is there something darker at the heart of this? As we watch the militarization of American law enforcement with growing horror, we cannot help but wonder where your loyalties truly lie. It is time for this bastardization of constitutional rights to stop, Mr. Speaker. We find you to be a man of many faces, Speaker Boehner. You are unafraid to send young men and women off to war, yet at the height of the Vietnam conflict, you, a high school football player and, later in life, an avid golfer and outdoorsman, were released from the Navy's basic training program with a bad back. Just how is your back doing now, Mr. Speaker? We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.